Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Free Space with me, Barfalian. Last time we captured a sheep and cruiser and I got a lovely uh, new medal to celebrate my success. And today we're going to carry on with the campaign and there's going to be another cutscene, so let's see what it is. When the destroyers came for us, we attacked. Never had we been defeated. They were like the others, strange, hideous, resisting, fighting. Only these were not like the others. They did not die. We made our first retreat. We could forego one system. We left it to the destroyers and went elsewhere. But they followed. They hunted us. They followed us when we retreated, discovered where we lived. For a long time, we did not know why they chased us. They were no ordinary enemy. They did not seek our territory, our technology, our resources. Now we know our crime was sin. We've just received some discouraging news from Terran Command pilots. At 0300 today, after the captured Tyrannus was towed to Tombaugh installation in the Ribo system, the Sheevan staged a major ambush. There isn't a lot of confirmation from the footage yet, but it's clear that a Sheevan destroyer of massive proportions jumped in and destroyed Tombaugh station, along with all of its defenses. We have designated this new class of destroyer, Lucifer. Debris from the station is still falling from orbit on Ribos 4. Terran and Vesudan fighters and cruisers engaged the Lucifer, who were wiped out quickly. Footage suggests that the Lucifer was using a new type of shield, impervious to any of our attacks. Needless to say, this is grim news. If the Sheevans indeed have managed to shield a vessel of that magnitude, it's merely a matter of time before they wipe out all frontline installations and march through to our home systems. Since all attempts at communication with the Sheevans have ended in violence, it appears unlikely that a diplomatic solution will work. At this point, the Sheevans have control of Beta Cygni, Betelgeuse, Ross-128, Ikea, and Regulus. Most of the Vesudan forces are gathering in Vega for a counter-strike, while we are gathering our fleet in Antares for an effort to retake Ribos and Beta Cygni. Oddly enough, the Sheevans don't seem to be interested in taking control of any planets in the systems or gathering natural resources. Instead, they seem to be focused on controlling individual jump nodes. Research and development teams at Seoul have recently completed development on a few new weapons. A group of Terran scientists has returned from a previously unexplored system known as Alaramis and bring with them a new weapon called the Flail. The Flail is quite different from our typical energy cannons. Please consult the weapons database in the tech room for more details. Our communications with Vesudan technicians have yielded the interceptor missile. By combining the Vesudan designed engine with a Terran warhead, we were able to produce the most powerful anti-fighter weapon yet. It's an aspect-seeking missile and requires a few seconds to lock onto the enemy's engine signature, but its speed and accuracy make it lethal. Use it well. The survivors of the Tombaugh attack must be evacuated from the Ribos system immediately. We do not have sufficient firepower to retake Ribos at this time. Your wing's objective is to escort the IOTA transports. Other wings will be accompanying this convoy. Alpha Wing will be in charge of this operation and will have command authority. The convoy must reach the designated checkpoint. Escort from this point onward will be provided by Allied Vesudan forces, led by the PVD Pinnacle. Hostile forces have been spotted all over this system, and there is a good chance that our convoy will be attacked by Sheevan fighters. All hostile forces should be eliminated. The PVD Pinnacle will be arriving at the designated checkpoint. This Typhon-class destroyer has one of the most skilled crews in the PVE. They will escort the refugees for the remainder of their journey. Help the Pinnacle until it has dismissed you, then return to base. Many lives depend on this operation. Good luck. 
Okay then, so escort transports live on our ball. Valkyrie interceptors, that's good. Now that flail. It's a kinetic weapon. It's good against shields, I'm guessing it's probably shit against hull. But I can't seem to equip it on this. That's a bit shit. Intercept some missiles though, we'll give those a go. There we go, double lasers again for once, after all these missions, flying bombers and... Did you see what was left of Ribos? ...and stuff with, uh... I've never seen anything like that before. ...with subsystem guns. That place was a fortress! I can't believe a single Shivan attack could level it! I'm on it! Well, this is a boring start for this mission, isn't it? Come on, I want to blow something out. GTFR Nelson requesting assistance. Shivan forces hit our wing. We have taken severe hull damage. Okay. Enemy presence detected. Yeah, these lock on missiles. You can see that diamond is trying to lock onto him. So, the steadier we can keep him in our hub, then go, it's locked on. We can fire it, and it's much better at, uh, at homing in than the heat seek ones, which can be shaken off. I am notifying Terran Command of the attack on the GTFR Nelson. Keep on your toes, there could be more. Where is the jump? Oh, there's no jump load, is it? We're just going to the, the uh, destroyer, are we? Oh, break. Otherwise, we're going to crash. Oh, something. Heads up, we have company! Bombers! Bombers are bad. Shut up the arse, but all the fighters are shooting me now. That's Watch point. your back, sir! I had noticed that. But technically, he was in front of me. I could fire it blind at that range, it should still hit him. No, my luck. Oh, we shoot up the arse. There we go. Alright, let's take out the one that's trying to kill me. New hostiles in the area. Loads Good of kill. them. Keep jumping in. Crap. Come on. We need to kill these faster. Like eight of them. Go away! Fiend! I've taken my whole strength down. Stop crashing into me! Look, you destroyed my sensors. I can't see shit on the radar now. Oh shit! Heads up, we have company! Because you've destroyed my sensors, I'm never getting that back for the rest of the mission now. You fucking asshole. Now I've got to fire this one blind. Not sure if a, if a uh, support ship being deployed. If a support ship can repair it at least 
to like 1% so it can go up over time. Um, guys, I don't know where you are. There we are. I'm gonna stop over here and wait for that support ship to come along. Heads up! We've got visitors! But if you say so, I can't see. Here he comes. Ah, he can do subsystems. Fantastic. Rearming complete, sir. All right, let's go. Well, that saved that from being a bit of a uh, disastrous attempt at this mission. Oh, well done. You've taken my whole integrity down even lower now. Thank you. He's on 5%. There we go. Yeah, they've got their damage to it. Alright, how much further do you guys need to run? Oh shit. What? That's not auto, that's signal. Oh, okay, so there's like several groups of people. Um. I think we might have lost one of the Sigma transports, though. Unbeknownst to us. I only thought there was three transports. Entering another boring phase of this mission while we wait for things to spawn and kill us. We're nearly there, we've got one more minute to uh, transport until we reach the waypoint we need. So I would have expected at least one more wave to come in, but uh, it seems like that may be it. Or at least if they get to the waypoint, there'll be like a big bum rush or something. The fact is, we've got a, a friendly destroyer coming in, so what are the odds that we're going to get some kind of big enemy ship or something go horribly wrong? Especially that Lucifer ship, we don't want that coming near us, that's fucking huge. Definitely look, not looking like we're going to get something coming, so 20 seconds until we arrive. These seconds are very unpredictable, they're currently going very slow.
These are the right coordinates. Where's the PVD pinnacle? Heads up! We've got visitors! The PVD pinnacle is jumping in ahead, sir. Hooray! Sorry we were late. We were assisting a convoy of freighters that were ambushed by the Hammer of Light. Alright, let's kill these bastards and then go home. Turn to base command, just to be sure. Oh well. Great job, Alpha One. You managed to save all three of the IOTA transports from the Shivan attacks. We were told by the crew of the Pinnacle to congratulate you on a job well done. The civilians on those transports owe you their lives as well. Flawless victory, always good. The GTS Asimov and the GTC Ravage are under attack in the Antari system. The GTS Asimov was working on Project Tsunami, which involves hyperactive substances. These substances are extremely volatile. If the Asimov is destroyed, the reagents are likely to reach critical mass. Analysis predicts a shockwave of up to five kilometers in radius. The station is in bad shape. We need to clear the area, then transport the scientists out of there. When the area is secure, the GTT Spammer will jump in and retrieve the scientists. After they have been safely evacuated, return to base. We have five ships waiting in the hangar. We have no time to get them fully loaded out, so you'll need to use what you've got. Suit up. You're launching in two minutes. So, because we're being scrambled with a red alert, we don't have any... Uh ship or weapon selection we've got to go with whatever they've got so let's go Sir. Protect the Asimov. 
So if that thing explodes, everything within five kilometers is gonna go bang. So that's the rescue ship that's coming to rescue these guys. Heads up, we have company! Oh, baddies have appeared. Five of them. Those ones bombers. They are bombers. I noticed that, thank you. Get it off my towel. Let's find the other bomber. They do much damage. Shit, the air smog is down to 57 cents. That's not 100% because if so, that's, that's terrible. Destroyed that wave. Delta 1 and 2 are a bit buggered. I thought we only had five ships for this mission. So where'd, that, where'd Delta Wing come from? Quiet. Too quiet. Scientists are safe. Clear out the rest of the hostiles and return to the Galatay. Is that literally it? Jump back to base. Oh, something's just jumped in. Great job, pilot. You managed to protect the Asimov. All the data for Project Tsunami has been secured, and it should be completed within days. The crew of the GTC Ravage thanks you for saving their lives. The Shivans will find their assault on Antares far more difficult with the Ravage on board. For saving the crew of the GTC Ravage, we are awarding you the Medal of Conspicuous Gallantry. Horsey medal! There we go, another one for the trophy cabinet, conspicuous gallantry. Very nice. Excellent performance, thank you. Control, this is boarding party Bravo 2, entering disabled freighter. Roger, Bravo 2. Keep the chatter to a minimum.
hammer of light has decimated the Vesudan fleet at Vega. Most of the surviving Vesudan forces have retreated to Deneb and Antares. Because our fleet is also holding Antares, relations between the VPE and the GTA have been strained. In order to quell the tension, we have been ordered to eliminate all hammer of light outposts in the vicinity. Fortunately, we have some new tools to assist us. Our first new weapon is the Phoenix 5 anti-bomber warhead. This missile can puncture even the thickest of shields and can also be used effectively against larger targets, like freighters. More details are available in the tech room. We have also acquired a wing of the new Medusa bombers. Though they are slower and less maneuverable than the Athena, they are far more powerful. Once again, full details can be found in the tech room. The new Tsunami Bomb is the ultimate anti-cruiser weapon and can be carried by the Medusas. Just a few of these will take out any cruiser, and the Hammer of Light Aten class cruisers are no exception. You'll be using this bomb quite often against major Hammer of Light outposts. Here in the Antari system, we have detected a small HOL base of operations. Your squadron is being sent to eliminate it. You will destroy all Hammer of Light ships, then jump back to the Galate. The Galate will be monitoring you in case the situation gets out of control. Good luck. Walk in, blow thing up. I can do that. So I could technically use the new Medusa bomber. It's got heavy armor, but crap maneuverability. Um, what's his loadout? One gun and three bombs. How about no? Shall I stick to my trusty interceptor? And I shall go with that loadout. What the hell happened to the hammer outpost? I'm reading nothing but Sheevens! That's not good. Galate, we are in an intense situation with Sheevan forces. Request assistance! We're already engaged. Stand by. Losing systems! Help me out! Oh, Nephilim bomb. That's a new bomb. Well, that wasn't too bad. We're all, we're all alive. Alpha 4 Nelly. This enemy wing has just arrived! Smoke too soon. I'll just have to destroy that another one comes in. Galate, ready to assist. Yeah! Glad to see the cavalry could make it. Come on, chim in the face. Heads up! We've got visitors! Losing systems! Help me out! Oh fuck, there's like two cruisers. Check your six, pilot! Um Sending Delta Wing now. Delta Wing has arrived, awaiting orders. Breaking to attack. Everyone take out fucking... I don't know if you can't be held on, so just head Destroy the fucking Sheevan ship. Fire everything. Let's 
Must be takes a beating. Losing systems. Help me out. I think it's a bit of a hint that we kind of got a new bomber and a new anti-cruiser ship before we started this mission. It's a big hint that we probably should have taken. Oh fuck! I just fire everything. No! Oh, there goes Beta Two. Jesus Christ. Whoa! That hurt, whatever that was. I took out my right shield and my sensors. What? Now, I don't have any sensors to actually shoot one of those guys. Fighter under ship. tail, sir! Oh, support ship being deployed. There may very well be a fighter on my tower, but I can't see it. I can't kill it. About to explode the alien's bomb. Hold taking serious damage. Trying to dock. Oh, can't turn while you're doing that. Rearming complete, sir. All right. Take out these fighters, and then we'll go help the uh, the Galate. Oh, there's more of them. Breaking to attack. Fuck the fires, let's just go kill this bitch. Oh, yeah, he's taking a battery. Why weren't you shooting him before? Whoa! Big boom. I've actually lost four people so far on this mission, that's not good. Nephilim bomber, get out of here! Bombing my bloody shit. There we go, another one down. Who's next? What's that? Okay, yeah. Come here. Yes. Right. Last one. There we go. Battle area is clear. Entering subspace now. Whoa! Don't do that while I'm in front of you. Why is she just gonna? crash into me when you're going to jump on. Delta jumping out! Alright, can we go home then? Beta wing is out of here! I'm guessing that's a hint we can go home. Oh well. Everyone, fuck off. Subspace node activated. We are pleased that you were able to suppress the Shivan influence in the Beta Aquilae system. Their arrival was unexpected, and battling the Shivans always takes a heavy toll on our forces. Fortunately, we can take some bitter comfort in the fact that they helped us eliminate the Hammer of Light presence in Beta Aquilae. In light of your recent achievements in protecting GTA space from the Shivan threat, we are awarding you with the Distinguished Service Cross. You are truly an outstanding pilot. I am indeed, aren't I? I've got to go. I've got like uh, five big medals now, going very nicely. Distinguished Flying Cross. But uh, I think we'll stop for there, and next time we shall continue, so see you then.